that we got plenty of time What's up, Colt? It is Monday, February 18th, President's Day, and we got some great news for this week. We got a date for when you're coming home. So this coming Sunday, you're going to be coming home as long as everything stays on track. You have a, a very bu busy week ahead. Uh, we're getting your MRI this week. You're going to get some all of your, your shots this week. That way we don't have to take you back out once you're home. But I, I can't stop smiling like I just can't wait to get you home and be able to see you every day it, It's just great. You know the, the hospital thing is has definitely been a grind for us and the family balancing the other kids and uh, um, Both Kathleen and I getting in there. So it'll be nice when we're all together as a family Luke has been begging to get in there and see you he had a race in South Carolina so he drove all through the the day yesterday I got back and then this morning we went in and saw you he got to hold you you know he's a he's a great big brother he he really cherishes those moments and you know a little things to to make him laugh you're already making him laugh and you know he was making you smile so I can already see that bond which which is great <laughs> Oh my gosh, dude. <laughs> Jeez, you look more than like four times for me. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> this kid has poopy diaper, I think. <laughs> oh, he's smiling. <laughs> Seems better. We're just here getting everything ready at the house. Uh, I think your other brother over here is, is excited to see you. Yeah, a great week. Uh, it's been a, a long road. I think we're you know closed in on Friday. Will be 60 days in the NICU. So it's been challenging. It's been tough. But all of that seems to be kind of quickly forgotten when we we get something to look forward to, like a, a date of getting you home. So, like I said, this week we got the car seat test. Uh, Mom took the CPR test. So I think we're getting everything in line. We'll get everything here put together at the house and, and we'll be ready for you. So keep on, on track this week. Keep good with your feedings and we'll be home before you know it. Love you, buddy. brother is busy trying to build a, a fire he said it would make a cool video but he didn't realize that all the wood is wet he forgot to dry it out what do you think it's a sorry fire isn't it you'll do better uh, what are you doing wood in the fire wood in the fire why isn't there a big fire huh why does the fire look so small because we just doing it won't work because it's wet yeah. What do you think about seeing Colt today? Good. He's excited. I'm excited because next week on the weekend, you're going to come home. Sunday, it's excited. Exciting. Cool. Can't wait for that, huh? Finally. Two brothers. What are you going to do with them? <sighs> Tough. Because they would just cry all the time. <laughs> and... I, I don't want him to be like like Case because cause he's chubby. What's wrong with chubby? Chubby people need loving too. But he's Roomba. Lots of people love Roomba. It cleans up all their stuff around their house. <laughs> but it's, it's like my brother. It's supposed to be a vacuum. <laughs> Alright, Colt. Luke wanted to be in this vlog portion. So we'll go ahead and, and hand it over to him and see what he has to say look in here there you go look 
and talk to your brother. Hi, Cole. Uh, I love you, and I decided for you to come this weekend home on uh, Saturday or Sunday. And it's exciting. Mom will be happy, Dad will be happy, and Case will be happy, and I'll be happy. And I hope you're not like Case when you just eat, eat a lot. And don't do that what Dad just did, because I can get him back. Okay, go show your excited dance right here. loves you. I hope you're not small like me. You are sure. <laughs> What's up, Colt? So this is the end of week 36, Thursday, February 21st. A uh, huge week for you. Trying to get everything ready to get you home. Uh, the planned date right now is on Sunday. We're hoping we kind of track towards that, but either way, we know we're close. You've, you've done great so far. A lot of things you had to do this week. You had to pass your car seat test, which you did great on that. All of your wires are off your face, which is so nice. No more feeding tube. Doing good with your, your feedings. A little bit of trouble getting your, your vitamin down when I was in there with you. Uh, but it's nasty tasting, so it's kind of to be expected and hopefully you'll you get that down with your feedings. A, a lot of shots coming up this week, unfortunately for you. Uh, you know, it's just one thing after another for, for you with that. The, the biggest thing about this week was your MRI. You know, they went through and the MRI gets you know a lot more images and better clarity towards kind of the damage from the brain bleed and luckily uh, very minimal damage so it looks like you know everything should be great in that area you'll get physical therapy when you come home you know some doctor visits you know that come to your house so a lot of things for us still to learn and understand with with everything with you coming so much earlier you know, I think the biggest thing is we just keep reminding ourselves, like, all this time we've had in the NICU with you is as big of a struggle as it's been. It's all been extra time. You know, you still would have been in your mom's belly. So really try to look at this as a positive that we actually got more time as much as this was, you know, the, the roller coaster ride of emotions. We finally feel like we're getting close. We're getting excited, getting everything done here around the house. And... You know, hopefully this weekend we'll be busting you out of that NICU and, and home for good. So we can't wait. Great week. And uh, week 37 should be the, the big week of coming home. So love you, buddy. Talk to you soon.